In this video, we're going to look at the new integrated environment for PowerShell Universal version 2. The integrated environment allows you to run all the features of PowerShell Universal inside the PowerShell Universal process. It's faster and a little less complicated. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about environments if you don't, um, or if you haven't really used them directly. But if you click settings um, and environments, pretty much what an environment lets you do is run uh, your APIs, scripts, and dashboards uh, in various versions of PowerShell. So as you can see here, um, in version one, we had, uh, by default, we would kind of locate the existing versions of PowerShell that you have on your machine. And then if you created an API uh, script or dashboard, you could then select the environment to run that particular script in. So that kind of allows you to use both PowerShell 7 and PowerShell 5.1 in the same PowerShell Universal instance. And the way this works is it actually starts these PowerShell processes. And uh, every time you start a job or uh, start up the API, it's actually going to start a PowerShell process and proxy between the PowerShell Universal server and the uh, PowerShell process that you selected for that environment. So what we've added in the newest version of uh, PowerShell Universal is the ability to use the PowerShell Universal server directly. So this doesn't actually uh, execute or start a PowerShell process outside of PowerShell Universal. It just uses the integrated environment itself. So you will be uh, effectively using PowerShell 7.1.3 if you are using um, version 2 of PowerShell Universal. So there's a couple places that you can actually set environments. Um, for APIs, you're going to go to the general settings and select the API environment to use the integrated environment. If you'd like to set the default environment for the entire um, kind of instance of PowerShell Universal, you can also select that here. As you can see, I've specified the integrated environment for both of these places. For scripts, you can set the integrated environment uh, inside the properties here. So this one is set to uh, the integrated environment. And then for dashboards, you can set the integrated environment uh, in the properties for that as well. So here you can see I've selected the integrated environment for this dashboard. So um, what I'm going to kind of demonstrate is uh, kind of the benefits of using the integrated environment. So one of the things when you're using environments in uh, PowerShell Universal v1 is that you have all these separate PowerShell processes running. Um, but with uh, PowerShell Universal v2 and the integrated environment, they're all running in the same process. So let's take a look at this script. This script here actually calls uh, load data. Uh, it's called loaddata.ps1, and it's using the uh, integrated cache. So uh, this particular cache scope actually stores this data in memory. So typically, that's only available in the same process. But since we're all we're using the integrated environment for everything, um, we can use this cache and then use it across APIs, uh, jobs, and dashboards. So let's actually run the script to load up this cache. And what you're going to see at the top here is that it was manually run by the integrated environment. Uh, and you'll also notice that when you're using the integrated environment, it's a little snappier because it doesn't have to start up PowerShell scripts or uh, PowerShell instances in the background. So now if we go to our API and we look at this data API, what you'll see here is it's just going to return that cache data. So now if I execute this, you're going to see that the date time was returned. And that was actually populated by that um, automation job. So um, in the same way that you can access this cache data via APIs and authentication, you also have access to that in dashboards. So this particular dashboard uh, isn't actually using that data, but uh, just kind of as an example, you can see that we are running this dashboard inside of the integrated environment. So it's not actually going out to um, a separate PowerShell process, it's just doing this all internally. So another demonstration of the or a benefit of the integrated environment is that you don't actually need PowerShell installed to use PowerShell Universal anymore. So I actually have a Raspberry Pi running. Um, this is a Raspberry Pi 4. And you can see here that it's just uh, running uh, over PuTTY and SSH. And if we actually navigate to this other tab here, you're going to see that I have PowerShell Universal up and running on my Raspberry Pi. So I have a script here, um, and if I execute this, it's just going to return PS version table. So let's just run that. And now you can see that it returns some information about this machine, and we're running on Linux, and this is uh, on the Raspberry Pi. So what's really interesting about this is that we actually have um, 
if you look at environments, we don't have any PowerShell environments. We only have the integrated environment. That's because I didn't install um, PowerShell separately. I just installed PowerShell Universal. And PowerShell Universal includes the PowerShell SDK, so that means that you have access to um, all of the command lines and stuff like that that you would expect inside of um, PowerShell, kind of like the built-in ones. So um, what's pretty cool about that then is, especially in the Raspberry Pi world, is I've created a tiny little dashboard. Um, and what this does is it just creates a blank page and more or less centers the content. And then it's just getting the current date and time. And then it's refreshing this particular uh, UD dynamic um, every second. So if we take a look at that in this browser, um, you'll see that I just have a centered uh, date and time that appears here, and it's just updating every second. So I effectively have a calendar and clock. But uh, with my Raspberry Pi, um, you can see here that what I've actually done is I have uh, opened up the web browser on the Raspberry Pi. I have a little screen attached to this. And um, uh, if I navigate to the um, dashboard, which is on HTTP uh, localhost 5000 slash dashboard, you'll see that I have the um, clock running. So if I just put this in full screen mode now, you see that I uh, effectively have a little clock that I made with Raspberry Pi that um, is driven by PowerShell Universal. So the integrated environment is pretty cool because it allows you to run PowerShell Universal without actually having to install PowerShell. It's also uh, a little bit simpler to deploy and a bit faster because it doesn't need to uh, start up uh, external PowerShell processes. So while this might not work for everyone, some people still need to use Windows PowerShell, um, this may be a good alternative for people that are looking for simple, quick, uh, effective uh, implementations of PowerShell Universal without having to rely on external PowerShell versions. So in this video, we looked at the new integrated environment feature for PowerShell Universal uh, version 2.